Okay, in this video here, I'm going to actually take you through uh, a modeling technique. Uh, I'm not even sure if we could even consider it a modeling technique. Uh, but basically, it's just uh, something that uh, I found to be pretty useful as far as knocking out uh, models really quickly. Uh, and this is, you know, what I refer to as clone modeling, where you're not really concerned about uh, specific details or anything. It's really just kind of quickly getting out models that can be used later on to speed up the process when you need a character, uh, a human, you know, male or female. Uh, later on, you can quickly open up these files and go from there. So we're going to go to the, the front view and uh, we're going to create a plane and it's basically we're just going to set up a quick template uh, which we've covered uh, many times before but I want to show you a, a way or a method that I've been using lately that I've found to be quite useful and so anyway so we'll go to I'm in the front view and I just F3 so we can see what's going on and uh, we're going to set the length and width segments down to one now we're going to go to the material editor and to the diffuse map channel bitmap and I want you to go ahead and I want you to load up the um, the reference image that you can download from my website and go ahead and uh, apply that show that and we need to make sure that the size is correct so we'll go to view image and we right click and we see the width is 391 height is 600 so width 391 and length which would be the height 600 just make sure yeah okay um, so we can we're just gonna minimize this for a second and then I go into uh, perspective view and I'm actually gonna use my scale tool now and I'm going to scale this whole guy down um, and moving him up again just because this is the way that I like to work um, I like to have my characters um, within this grid plane so I'll just put him so he's actually somewhat standing on the ground okay then the next thing I'm going to do is actually line up uh, with our uh, axis line right here. I'm just going to go ahead and try to line that up as close as I can. And it looks to be pretty close. Maybe just adjust a little bit down here on the X. Uh, looks like to be pretty close. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead we can see that we're actually seeing the back side of this which we don't want so I'm going to uh, right click and go into object properties and we're going to check the back face call and I'm going to uncheck the show frozen and gray option so we can actually see we can see through it now and when we freeze it uh, we'll still be able to see the color alright so now what I want to do is I'm going to go let's go ahead and collapse this down to Neville Poly and I'm going to put the UVW map modifier on here just to hold the texture position and if I go to the hierarchy tab and go to effect pivot only uh, since I took the time to try to line uh, the center of this guy up with uh, the line right here which is the zero for the Y and the X and everything I can now come down here and take the pivot position and align the pivot point to zero and that should be uh, right here in the middle the middle line of uh, the front view guy which is good because now if I go to perspective and uh, hold down shift and I'm going to turn on my angle snaps so we can rotate in five degree increments hold down shift and rotate nine degrees this way we see that uh, very quickly we've created the uh, the front and the side view now all we gotta do is come back to this I'm um, selected on the side view here down to edible poly turn on show and result go to edge click on this edge and if I use the move tool and this is the Y if I come down here and line this up to zero well you see that that pops off 
hiding the uh, front view. And if we come here and do the same thing for this one, turn that on and pick on this guy and then set it to zero on the X, we see that very quickly we've created our uh, template to model from. Which is uh, definitely a, a very easy way to quickly get set up in this all uh, based upon um, you know if you're going to create your images having them created like this uh, where we cut it in half and put that side view in there making sure that everything lines up um, but it just facilitates this uh, this way of uh, setting up a very quick modeling template of course you want to also when you start doing uh, modeling from images like this you want to make sure you go to customize uh, down to preferences and turn it go to viewports and configure driver and you want to make sure that uh, we're set to the highest settings here and both these guys are checked um, once you do that if you haven't done that you have to come back in uh, to your material ed editor uh, turn the show map and viewport off and then turn it back in and it will uh, you should see a major difference in the quality of the image being displayed so at this point we're going to select both of these images and we'll go to the layer manager and we'll add this to a new layer and we'll say and just call it refs and we will freeze this layer so we can no longer pick on it and with the layer manager still open I'm going to go ahead and just create a box I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute and I'm just going to create a box roughly the length of his foot what positioned over here so probably like something like that we can see the box is gray at the moment that's because it is a part of our uh, refs layer which is frozen so as soon as I click off of this thing uh, I'm not going to be able to select on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately go to my move tool and go create new layer containing selected objects which will uh, make a new layer here and I can now unfreeze and I'll just call this mesh. So our uh, our templates are frozen, and we now have uh, the first part of the geometry. So quickly, I'm going to run through this. We have a box with uh, one and one uh, height segment, or one segment on all of our coordinates. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to an edible poly. And I'm going to go into the right view to start with and I'm going to hit Alt X so we can actually see through this. And now I'm in vert vertice mode here. I'm just going to make some very quick adjustments uh, like so. Move this up here, bring this in, and then bring this up. And now quickly just rotate now to the side so we can select this one and then hit shift C to undo the viewport change. Extrude out. Doesn't matter how much because we're gonna bring this back in. Anyway, I could pull this out like so. So we go back to um polygon and then I'm again I'm gonna rotate my view with the uh Alt mouse and the, uh, the Alt button in the middle mouse, and select this, and then Shift Z, and we're going to do extrude again. And this time we're going to move this all the way here to the middle. Okay, and I'm going to just rotate this a little bit so that it's actually kind of lining up with uh, the way the knees kind of going. Going to move these vertices so that they're in position back to polygon and now I'm just gonna instead of keep coming down here every time I'm just gonna hit the semicolon key quickly extrude again and I'll move this up to about where the hip line would be and at this stage I'll go to the front view and we can see we've got some changes we need to make so I'll go into vertice and let's pull this pull this over, I'll line this one up 
and looks like that one's fine. That one's fine. And let's just those down there are fine. So let's pull this one. All right. So we go up. We'll pull these over. This guy is actually going to come down to here, and this one's going to actually go uh, actually probably like right up to there. We'll just take it all the way up so that's the whole leg. Back to polygon and hit semicolon again. And at this stage, we're actually going to straighten these edges out and I'm notice I'm just coming straight up and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit F4 so we can actually see the uh, edges so I just got that straight line going up this guy could actually probably come in a little bit so rotate select this inside shift C semicolon and we'll close this in like so so now I'll rotate and we'll pick on these top faces uh, shift Z again until we get back here semicolon to extrude again and I'll go ahead and go to this point and then semicolon again I'm gonna go all the way up this time uh, to where the neck is I'm going to move this we were to come straight out like so see how that's cutting out that way and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pull this out so we can imagine coming straight up this way for the neck so now I can just pull these out a little bit and like so so we're not getting kind of that V heading down well, towards the groin now we need the arm, so I'm going to go to edge mode, and I'm just going to use my marquee to select straight across these edges. And I'm going to hit connect, which will add us a new line, and we can see uh, that this polygon right here will be extrude out for the arm uh, pretty much perfectly. Um, and this one right here is going to come up for the neck. So we're going to go to the right view now and we can see uh, that we've got some adjustments we need to do here so uh, before we go any further we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of this and what I want to do is I'm actually going to go into edge mode and uh, I'm going to pull these middle ones out first and looking right here I can see I can just pull this straight out and right there is where that should stop same thing with this one that should stop right there. This one uh, should actually stop there. This one comes straight back. We'll stop there. And we'll take this one. And it's actually hidden behind the leg a little bit, so right there probably will work. And we can do kind of the same thing back here. Take this one. That'll stop there. This one will stop there. Trying to follow the lines that we have on our reference image. And like so. And that's way back there. But since we know that we want the neck to come out of here, this is actually gonna be like up there okay and if I take a look I'm gonna select on this polygon right here and just want to kind of look at it and make sure that it's uh, as close to being a, a square as possible maybe pull it down a little bit it's pretty good but now what I'm gonna check is the position I can see in my reference image my arms actually starting back here so I'll go ahead and, and make that adjustment and then now I can 
just makes those slight adjustments adjustments uh, with the rest of these middle vertices and if I want to I'm pull this up pull this back a little bit but uh, I'm pretty happy with that so far so we're going to go ahead and back to the front view and we're going to extrude and we need to, we need to go back to it because we've connected uh, since the last time so this is going to go down to the elbow and I'll switch to the scale tool by hitting R and I'll scale this down and then uh, we can semicolon again and this goes down to right about the wrist R to switch to the scale tool and we can move this down like so and uh, we're not going to do the hands because we can attach the hands uh, later so let's come up here and take a look see uh, at extruding this neck which I think will work so let's go to the right view and hit Z to zoom in and we can go ahead and semicolon again and I'm going to pull this uh, basically right here to the base of his neck and I know that we've got a nice curve here um, not really worried about that so much go back to polygon semicolon again this one's gonna come straight up this one's gonna come straight up like so and then we can select on this one shift Z again and we can extrude this out and just really quickly maybe we'll do something like that kinda of block that in let's take a look okay so we know those are pretty good uh, his chin if this is his chin right here that's actually in here top of his head's alright there this guy come in and we see that we're getting some uh, some weird uh, geometry changes so I'm gonna actually leave that one out where it was and uh, we're not even really too concerned about the way this is if we wanted to we could uh, go to uh, edge select through here and connect just so we've got a little bit more control but not even really too concerned with it at this point so we're just gonna kinda look over this again and things looking good I wanna go to polygon and uh, that's alt X to get back out of see-through and at this stage we want to actually select all these metal faces and hit delete uh, to get rid of them so let's go ahead and throw on our symmetry symmetry because of uh, how we've lined things up around the center line we should be able to go to mirror and set this to zero and it'd be right through the middle of our character and now let's put the turbo smooth and see kinda how that's how's that looking now here's some of the things that we're gonna do we need uh, as we can see here if we take this off I'm going to go back into transparent mode um, I need to add some more segments here and here uh, we need another one running through here so I can increase pull the chest out we need another one running through here so I can see the neck deforming a little bit more uh, we need another one that runs through here that will give us this this piece uh, I can see uh, actually 
that the hand should start coming this direction so the arm actually bends we go to the front view we're going to need more here to get uh, the forearm muscles and of course we're going to need more in here and another one a few more in here to get some of these deformations um, and we need uh, another one in here to get fat part of the legs and the muscles uh, so what we're going to do is actually just run through and create those real quick so I'm just going to select through and connect and I'm just going to pull these guys out maybe even like so and like so and same thing here you can semicolon and pull that out okay we'll come right down the middle connect that pull this in maybe like so and and this one's up here and this one should be down here like that let's go to the right view this can come back here that can come in a little bit this can come out that can come out probably need another one through there we need some more uh, through here but we're not going to worry with that right now I'm just going to pick on this one and hit ring to get that one semicolon oops connect and let's pull that in this comes in a little bit like so so if we take a look at what we have at this point uh, let's turn the turbo smooth back on let me see we've got a uh, a base mesh set up pretty well uh, for uh, the character model um, and the important thing to note at this at this stage of the game is if we turn turbo smooth off this is about as low poly as we can as we could get you can see there's some little adjustments I need to make on this forearm it's pretty good right there um, but this is about as low poly as it, as it can come uh, at this stage. We don't have the hands. I don't have any real foot detail, but this is a great a great clone that we could uh, work off of if we needed to make and quickly make another character. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll save this. And we'll save this as a uh, male clone. And I'll call it underscore one for uh, first subdivision level. And uh, now what I'm going to do is actually take advantage because at this stage we now would uh, want to come through and select, ring, connect, and start doing this uh, for the whole mesh. Uh, but instead of doing that, I'm actually going to, because you'll notice, um, for example, let's say like right here. I need another subdivision line that will run through here so I can uh, pull it up to meet this area. Well, we turn the uh, turbo smooth on, we see we get that extra line. And the isoline display, if we turn that on, shows us uh, the actual segments and vertices that are actually on the mesh uh, without taking into account the turbo smooth. If we turn it on and we uncheck the isoline display, it actually shows us uh, the mesh that the Turbo Smooth is adding for us. So basically what we're going to do at this point is we're going to, I'm going to select on the symmetry because we want uh, to maintain uh, the symmetry so that we can still have the other half. So I'm going to right click on it and cut the symmetry off of the stack. When I click off the mesh, we see that it, it uh, goes back to showing us the turbo smooth. 
and now we have the turbo smooth uh, here with uh, applied to half of the mesh and at this stage I'm gonna just right click and go convert to edible poly and then right click paste and now there's our uh, symmetry back and then we can put the turbo smooth back on again if we want to turn on the ice line uh, but what that's done for us is it's increased you can see with the turbo smooth off and I come back down here to edible poly uh, this is now the lowest subdivision uh, that I can get so I can very quickly say we go to the right view very quickly see where and how to make these changes and we gonna have to uh, make these uh, adjustments because of the turbo smooth but you see that we've we still got most of the mesh I go into transparent mode here just so we can see um, you see we've got the mesh basically in the right place with just a few minor changes and we see we've got all this extra detail now that we didn't have before that we can take advantage of I'll just pull all these in and let's see I think I'll take I think I'll take I'll take you know what yeah, I'll take all of those. I'll just pull that out. Maybe this can go back in. Maybe I'll take these two and this one. And let's go back to the right view. And pull that out. And we just, you know, eyeballing it and see, you know, kind of where we are, where we stand. Uh, let's go back to the right view. And I'll pull these out. Notice I'm getting these three. And just pull them out. Pull that in. Just going off of the guideline there. These three come out. It's all the way in there. That's right there. And then out there. Now let's see, that's this one. So let's we'll take maybe this one and this one. Pull that out. So you can see uh, that we are making major uh, adjustments to the mesh but we're doing it very quickly and very easily maybe even pull that down and we uh... we really can thank the turbo smooth modifier for making this so easy for us I'll even pull that down and pull that out right there so uh, you know this is basically the uh, basically the technique you know we just we start small by blocking in the mesh and then we use that turbo smooth uh, turbo smooth mod modifier to add the mesh for us the additional mesh and then we just start going around and making our adjustments and we see we get all this new all these new vertices to play with to allow us to meet our goals with the modeling I'll just straighten that out and these can come up come up so uh, anyway, after we're done with this, and I'm just going to 
see. I'm going to take this one. Let's go back to the front view. Pull that one up here. Then this one. Come up here. This one. Let me see, we're just working our way right up the neck. And maybe we can just uh, kind of eyeball it a little bit too, keep it pretty straight. And I'm coming to the references and let's hide them. And we, you know, we got just a, a few adjustments to make um, to the chest hair, but we've got ourselves uh, a clone that's really ready to roll. Um, but you know, I just wanted to kind of show you guys this a uh, real quick technique of just um, blocking out, and this can work with basically any references that you can find. Um, this is going to work. Once you create the layout, and you just quickly block it out like I did, uh, go, going in whole chunks, and then we start subdividing down later. But uh, anyway, I hope you got something out of this, and uh, good luck, Mylon, and have fun.